tense moment, isn't it? When we go live. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. How is everybody? Hope everybody is safe and well. Enjoyed a lovely restful weekend. Welcome back to my bedroom. I've got some fun things for you today. It's Monday, so it's Makeover Monday. And I've actually got a real special show for you today because I'm going to be joined by not one but two separate guests. Yes, this is going to be a two-parter. So I'm going to start off. We're going to go live to the Outer Hebrides. How cool is that? To talk about seaweed in skincare and more. Very excited to do that. And then, bringing it a little bit closer to home, I'm going to be chatting online, live here, with one of my favourite people, my very good old friend, Kerry September, makeup artist extraordinaire, who has done, I think, the makeup for every single one of my magazine covers. Yeah, we've been working together for, whoa, at least, I would say, 20 years. So she probably knows my face better than I know it myself, frankly. Poor woman. She's had to have me in front of her so many times, and she's taught me a huge amount. Um, it's lovely to be able to share it with everybody here. So welcome. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Victoria. Hello, Patsy. Hi. Hello. Hi from Devon. Oh, Asifa says, I've just read your good gut guide. You break it down brilliantly. Well, thank you very much. I do still have a few of those here. The good gut guide is always the one that just whizzes out of the door. I just literally can't keep enough copies here, but I am signing them all if you want your copy. Um, and don't forget that at the moment, all the books I send out here from the farm go with a set of the three exclusive little well-being notebooks. So handy. And they've got little positive affirmation messages from me written on them. So grab those. You can also get the yearbooks and um, the Good Menopause Guide as well. So I just throw that out there as a quickie, especially as you've mentioned, Good Gut Guide. So something else that is very good for the gut actually is seaweed. Yeah, how about that for a seamless segue into my guest? Um, so let's see whether we can be joined here by Leon. I hope we can. Ishka Skincare. Here we go. Let's hope this works. Hi, Hilary. Hi there. Hi, Hamish from Scotland. Wow, you're not going to be the only one. Does Leon have a Scottish accent? Tanya, yearbook two, best recipe book I've ever bought. Thank you so much. Big heart, back to you. I was cooking recipes from my yearbook too as well at the weekend. Hi, Sharon. Hello from the Peak District. I hope you've got nice weather up there. You know, it started really nice here. I did a little post this morning on my Instagram, nice blue sky. Since then, it's turned really cold. And I've had all these messages saying, what are you doing with blue sky? It's snowing where we are. I'm thinking, oh my goodness. But it has turned a bit cold and gray here in the West Country. So now, Ishka, it says, waiting for Ishka skincare. So hopefully, hi from Hampshire. Hi in Glasgow. Hi Yorkshire. Oh my goodness, I feel like Graham Norton on... What, what is it? Euro, what's it? <laughs> Eurovision. <laughs> and it's hello from Belgium. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi from Dumfries and Galloway. Hi. Hello from Dublin. Several from Dublin. Housed my yearbook too this weekend. Lovely weekend recipes. Thank you very much, Jane. Blue skies in Lancashire. That's nice to hear. And it's lovely in Shropshire, according to Valerie. Milano. Hello, Valeria. Very nice to have you from Italia. Rams Bottom, Mauritius. Oh my goodness, now you're really going there. <laughs> I'm going to have to see if I can get Ishka up again. Hello from Worcestershire. Uh, let me see. No, Ishka. Maybe I wonder what the connectivity is like up where you are. Let me go again and see because it would be nice to chat. Hello from RD County in Ireland. Hello, Leon. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. I was panicking there. I was trying to get on. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's probably my connection. I've got my kids home for the Easter holidays, um, but I have chucked them off. I mean, I literally, I like to get some black looks this morning because I think they were trying to stream Netflix or something. And I said, sorry, guys, all bets uh, are well, off at the moment because I've got important people to talk to. Wonderful. Well, well, my 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 twelve-year-old son is in charge of making sure any Amazon <laughs> deliveries are, are intercepted Excellent. at the front door. Oh so, my goodness! So, so where, where are you talking to us from? Well, I'm actually um, I'm actually I'm on the west coast of Scotland. Um, I'm, I'm I'm in a place called Guruk, which is by the sea and looks up mm. towards the Hebrides. I'm I'm based yeah. in the Central Belt. Um, I, I cannot wait to get to the Hebrides to, yeah. to 
to get to see the team in the Hebrides. But um, well, but it's so on on my yeah. list. I, I started chatting to you guys uh, last summer, I think it was. I mean, I've obviously known about you for a while, but kind of properly connected back then. And just the yeah. way those crystal clear waters were described as being, you know, kind of some of the cleanest in the world. And that's partly what makes the seaweed so special and so pure. It just sounded yeah. so incredible. And I know that the biodiversity and the bird life and all of that is supposed to be amazing. And I am so on a little whatever it's going to take, plane, ferry, I don't know, moped mm -hmm. to get to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, we 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 can't wait to host you in the Hebrides uh, and take you out, take take you out and harvest some seaweed. I um, am so looking sure. forward to this. Now, tell me about it. So, this is your lovely brand. It's a really beautiful British skincare brand, Ishka, um, which I've genuinely been using. I have to say, one of the things I really love about it is the scent. It's okay. a really fresh, unusual, slightly ozonic. I mean, it does smell to me, I guess, what it would be like taking a walk in the Outer Hebrides. It's really fresh. It's kind of unisex as well, so I think it's it's not too polarizing. It's not too floral, but it's not too kind of manly either. It's just it's just clean and uplifting, uh, which is kind of how I want to feel when I use um, products in the bathroom. So this is the one that I've been using quite a lot. It's a Hebridean sea salt scrub. Yes. Oh, somebody's just commented actually that they were bought the body scrub and the body oil for Mother's Day, which is beautiful. So actually, before we get into all of that, do you want to tell us a little bit about the background of Ishka and how you came to be and what makes it so different yeah, from other happened. things? Yeah, yeah. well, it, it, it actually it started on a kitchen table in the Hebrides. So, uh, and, and actually, uh, Malcolm is one of the other founders. He's yeah. the scientist behind the brand and his wife, Joanna, is a beauty therapist. So, mm. so she, she encouraged Malcolm to to make a pot of cream is how it all started Great. and that was that was probably about 11 years ago yes. and at the time i was a spa director at a lovely spa in glasgow uh -huh. and and we were we were doing seaweed baths so one of the wonderful uses of seaweed is seaweed baths and it's lovely and nourishing for your skin yeah, as really. it produces all, all the all the alginates and the so he said to me do you think we could do you think we could do something with this pot of cream and, and that's how the conversation started and love we went that. on a whole journey a whole journey of creating a brand but and, that's what i love we, when there is that authenticity to it you know you're not talking about a big corporation with a, a load of people in in you know dark gray suits sitting around a, a boardroom table saying well you know how do we maximize our profit margins and you know what does the cost price need to be and what does the packaging need to look like you know those are all kind of things that come way later down the line what really matters is when you find something really special often yeah. that's come out of your own need for something or you know you're resolving a skin issue and i know that seaweed has got really remarkable properties hasn't it for helping the skin yeah yeah definitely actually um actually i always have a joke where when we were developing the seaweed that um, malcolm malcolm my son had eczema and psoriasis and really mm. really problematic skin and he said yeah. use 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 the marine cream on it and, and i said to my son i'll let dad try it on him and, and he, he used it and it had wonderful wonderful results so i always mm -hmm. joke and say we don't test on animals but we do test on small children absolutely yeah. i did exactly the same when i had my beauty brand everything got tested on small children, small children. but actually so, you know so when it, when you're sure about your product and you know that it's helpful and i have the eczema gene in my family so I think that's one of the reasons I like your range is that I can use everything quite safely and my skin just does seem to bloom with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so and and once 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 we started having a conversation about Ishka, you know, we started in a little porter cabin on the edge of a lock in the Hebrides and oh. that's that's how it started and now you know, we we we're, we're still a very small British yeah. company, yeah. but but you know we're we're growing and we're, we're you know we're we're developing the brand yeah. worldwide. But I, again, again we're, we're very very careful to make sure that there's a real story behind everything yeah. that we produce and a real efficacy behind everything that we yeah. produce as well. You know yeah. we we won't provide products for products sake. just for the it's sake more. of it. Well, that that yeah. and that is the way yeah. to grow. You know you grow it small, but you grow it strong. And I you know I've always really fervently believed in that and and still do yeah. with everything and it has to be evidence-based 
and efficacy yeah. because you know as they say you can you can sell anything once really but what yeah. really matters is when people love what you do and they want to come back and buy it again and tell others and you know spread the word for you because your customers really should be your best ambassadors if you've got a great product it's lovely actually reading some of the comments here i can see them on my facebook and also on my instagram screens of people saying that they were introduced to the brand perhaps here last year and we do still have our lovely liz loves discount by the way so there's 15 percent off everything if you use liz loves and we're very grateful to you for that thank you um but that's really nice when other people tell others they actually feel really strongly about it and they want to support you because they can see what you're doing is is good yeah yeah and we do also just with the lives liz loves code if anyone that uses it and up until midnight on tuesday night we're also going to add one of our newest products which is our shampoo and body bar <gasps> we've just introduced so we're going to organize we'll, we'll put a complimentary shampoo and body bar wow in, in, in every liz loves order up until midnight. oh my goodness that's tuesday amazing night. and that's so, as well as the discount as well as the discount yeah thank yeah, you yeah. So, my goodness so, so you'll, so, well, so let's, that... let's talk about that because I have been using this. Now, I think there are several reasons why this is really interesting. The first is that I think we're hearing a lot more about the, the overuse of plastic and especially single-use plastics. And obviously, the yeah. skincare industry and the toiletry industry does have to be really mindful of that. And shampoos and conditioners, all of those things, obviously, you know, come packed in a lot of plastic. So how long did it take you to make this? Because it's quite unusual to see a shampoo and a body bar in one in one little product in one little block like this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it took a while we i always great. i always talk about the royal we in the development but it's it's really malcolm who's the who's malcolm and joanna are the clever ones in development and it was right. to make sure that we found a we found a bar that that lathered enough to be useful as a shampoo yeah. but yeah. still still cleaned as a as a body part so it was in it was in um in development for, for probably about 12 months yeah. but really our our brand our brand started in spas and spas open today in england <gasps> about 12. so spas are all opening today which is which is wonderful um but but we've also we also sell a lot into hotels um mm. and we were looking for 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 an environmentally friendly solution for yeah. in room amenities because when you go to hotels a lot of the yeah. time you have all little yeah, plastic teeny bottles. weeny plastic bottles that you know you yeah. think you're going to reuse and then you don't and then it ends up being chucked away yeah yeah so well, this, well, so this, this is mine a... i have actually been using mine um i put uh, it in the shower i absolutely love it and i have actually i have to say quite indulgently i use this also as a hand soap because it doesn't yeah. strip my skin it just you know, we're obviously washing our hands a lot more and and I don't like the fact that normal soap or even hand washes actually can be really drying. But I really, I find yeah. that this one works no, just wonderful. so well. It's multi-purpose, um, um, multitasking, which is what we love yeah, here. Yeah, and that's the idea. The size of it is larger than the normal soap that you might yeah. get in a hotel room. So it means that you that can put great. it in the box. Put it in the box and take it home and use it. And, yeah. but, but when you when you talk yeah. about products that strip your skin, obviously everybody's using a lot of sanitizer yeah. lately. Uh, but we 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 introduced uh, we introduced a, an organic sanitizer. I have it extract. here. I have been <laughs> using it <laughs> as if Wonderful. on cue by magic. <laughs> The, yeah. Yeah, absolutely and this is so it's very effective so it's 78 percent alcohol so it's super sanitizing but actually it doesn't dry the skin and it just it feels really nice it's got a lovely spray can you see on that lovely. and it just and it's a great yeah. it look, looks nice i've actually got one of these by my front door as well but you can take it out and about with you it looks attractive you can you know pop it in your cloak room or, and, it, and it smells and it smells, it smells good of, Smells nice and fresh. Smells the Outer Hebrides. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and something yeah, else you've yeah. got, which I think is really interesting, and, and a lot of people here chatting about what are your you know, most popular products, or if they're going to go onto your website, what do you recommend that they get? Um, yeah. I particularly love the salt scrub. I love the marine cream as well. And also, yeah. tell us about these, because you've also got Inside Out Beauty, which is, you know, something that I'm very keen on. And these yeah. are organic seaweed capsules. And I've yeah. talked to other people actually up in Scotland about seaweed, um, and I really do rate it for the iodine. Yeah. 
And what have you found here? Because it says each capsule here provides 500 milligrams of pure Scottish seaweed powder, or power, rather. Powder. Yeah, and 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 that's that is the, the iodine, the iodine and the, the iodine and the capsules is 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 the, is the key. You know, yeah. it, is, it is pure, it is pure seaweed. There's there's nothing yeah. else added to it. I love so, that. So it's a so, real food supplement. A lot of food people say, oh, it's a food supplement, but actually it's not. When you look at the pack, it's a synthetic extract that's been isolated and popped into yeah. a capsule. This is the real yeah. stuff. This is your real yeah, food is, here, which your body yeah, is, is so much better able to use, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it's a, um, it's a wonderful... When we've, we've started, it's, it's become a lot more popular, um, mm -hmm. especially this year as people are, are having a, a lot more interest in their well-being and their, their health, For sure. et cetera. So, so, um, so, so yeah, yeah, we're, we're constantly, constantly innovating a, a product that we're looking at just now is a one of the popular spa products that we have is seaweed baths but mm. and that's using fresh seaweed but what we're developing is a dried seaweed bath so it comes mm. in a muslin bag and it means nice. that you can put it put it in your bag at home and then you use the muslin as like a uh, oh, a as, a, for the, as an exfoliator for the skin and i'm very the, happy to be all, a tester if you'd like me to yeah, test we, i'd be very happy we will we we will get some sent straight away. So, uh, <laughs> you don't have but, to send it straight away. Just keep but, me on your list. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah yeah. So so we're we're always looking at how you know, seaweed is a wonderful yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a wonderful plant. Um, yeah. That, that if treated you know if treated well and and harvested. It's incredibly well. It is incredibly sustainable. It's probably the most sustainable sort of vegetable, if you like, that we have on the planet, isn't it? Because it just yeah. grows naturally. It doesn't require any cultivation. In fact, you can't really cultivate it. It doesn't need any artificial fertilizers or sowing or, you know, anything like that. And you just hand yeah. harvest it and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, and that's the, the seaweeds that we harvest are in the intertidal zone. So, so, and they have to, that's one of the wonderful things about them is that they've got to live there and, and, and they create all these compounds that protect themselves, and it's these compounds that that help uh, that produce all the polyphenols and the antioxidants. That really? We now take take uh, that. That's where they because they, as the tide comes in and out, the seaweed gets dry and it gets wet, and it, it has to survive. So so and and, and that's Gosh. that's where we collect. That's where that's where we. Collect I hadn't thought about from. that. So the fact that the the seaweed is exposed to that extreme of dehydration, yeah. rehydration, you know, this tidal flow yeah, yeah. makes them produce more stronger polyphenols to protect the plant, which then in turn benefit us if we're using it. If we're using them, yeah, yeah. And that's that's where we Isn't get that the fascinating. That, yeah, so so um so yeah, and we make sure that we make sure that we you know, again you only snip the top of the seaweed off. Right. And you, and you, and you make sure that you move where you harvest so that it all grows back goes and it back. goes back Lovely. and you go back to yeah. the, so so it's um yeah yeah it's, and uh, can, can uh, you ship internationally i'm seeing some questions here from some of my lovely overseas viewers yes we'll ship all all over the world marvelous so, um, um, we, <laughs> sharing we the have, love from the hebrides yeah. and love it <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, and in, yeah, in terms was... of the capsules, what sort of skin benefits specifically, seeing as we're talking about skin? I mean, I know about things like metabolism um, and, you know, there's even been connections, hasn't there, with brain health and mood and anxiety and that kind of thing. But do you have a, a particular skin focus for these or is it really all round? It's, it's really all round. It's more about your, your general well-being rather yeah. than particular you know there's, there's nothing else added to that that's going to so be if you want to eat be, lovely fresh seaweed yeah, every day add seaweed. this to your diet uh, i have uh, to say i'm actually going yeah. to have i'm going to have a capsule right mm. now because i do love seaweed and i do you know if i'm ever in a japanese restaurant or get sort of like sushi little takeaway boxes with the nori seaweed and it's that unami, un, un, unami flavour, isn't it? The compound that is like a flavour enhancer, natural flavour enhancer that's supposed to be so good yeah. for us. Yeah, 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 it's lovely. I, uh, I should have one as well. I should take one as well at the same time, but I would, I would have to leave them and I, I go can, and get them. That's <laughs> why I was going to take one. one. I can smell, I can smell a very, very slight seaweedy um, flavour because it is actually the, the real deal. 
And I think yeah. so many of us are deficient in iodine as well. It's been taken out of our food through depletion of the minerals in the soil. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's and a good chance that a significant number of us are deficient in iodine, wouldn't you say? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, certainly. And 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 yeah, yeah not having enough you know, fish in our diets, etc. Yeah. So, and then yeah. there being all so, the issues now around fish. I mean, um, I haven't seen some of the latest documentaries, but I need to familiarise myself with that. So I think you know all about sourcing, yeah. sustainability, purity. You know, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that's and that's one of the things that, that makes our seaweed so special. It's because yeah, it's it's so pure in the Hebrides and I'm, I'm very lucky to have been involved in this journey and I'd never been I, I grew up near Skye but I'd never been to the outer Hebrides um, oh. and it's just such a stunning stunning place and real you feel the real connection yes. to nature and beauty and purity as you're, you're saying um, and that's where that's where the wonderful you know where that wonderful seaweed is harvested from. A couple of medical questions coming here about taking it with other medications. I would always say check with your GP, you know, check with whatever medic who's given you any medication. I'm not aware of any contraindications, are you, with um, with seaweed? Because it's a food. Yeah, it is a food. It's it's with, um, with your, you've got to check with your thyroid Mm. in terms of uh, just to, you just got to check with your GP. Yeah, and um, it depends on your dose. I was actually talking to Louise Newson the other day. About, funny enough, yeah. we were talking about estrogen, but we were also talking about thyroxine, and she said, you know, your dose depends. It's so individual, because we were talking about doses of HRT, and she was saying it's like thyroxine. You know, some people can be on very high doses, some people are on very low doses, so it, it's very individual. So I think if anybody is taking any medication for thyroid, then always worth checking. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think, you know, the key thing about these is that they are from foods. You know, you're not just sort of suddenly importing something artificial into your body. I mean, you could actually, I would imagine, open up the capsule and like, sprinkle it on a salad, couldn't you? That's what I do, because I love seaweed yeah. on things like scrambled yeah. eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pure, it is, it is pure harvested seaweed. It's, it's um, asco, asco film is the, is the type of seaweed. Ascophil. Uh, Ascophil is called knotted, knotted rack. Knotted rack. Is there Very good. is there a more common name of it? So. Oh yeah, so. I can see it here listed. Ascophilum nod nodstrum no, seaweed. No. No dosum. Yes. No there are some very. Yeah, yeah, I was worried at how many how many seaweeds you were going to ask me to pronounce. I, I'm not so very that. familiar. I, I actually, I back in the day, and, and we are going back thirty plus years. I went through a spell of being macrobiotic for a year when uh, there was this place in London called the East West Centre and I did lots of macrobiotic cookery courses and and all of that. And there was a lot of seaweed, so a lot of it obviously coming over from Asia. And so I used to to cook with with kelp and bladderwrack and wakame and kombu and all sorts of things. And then I kind of, you know, moved, moved away from it. But... I, you know, I really have a strong love of using those sea vegetables, and it's lovely to see them coming back now, both for health and well-being and for sustainability reasons. Yeah, 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 certainly. And, and the whole sustainability thing for us is, yeah. is huge, you know. Well, it's great to see that, you know, you're really embracing that with this. I love this little fellow. Can you just repeat again, for those of you who are new to the party, I saw there were a few latecomers, particularly on my Instagram. Yeah. This, yeah. your newbie, which is this amazing shampoo and body bar, which I love. I'll just show you. This is the one that I've been using here, actually, as an indulgent soap, as well as having my one in the shower. This is going to be free for everybody until yeah. when? Until midnight on Tuesday. Midnight on Tuesday. That's midnight tomorrow, if you're watching midnight this tomorrow. live. Okay, yeah. so there's going to be a, a big a big exodus. I'm, I, well, I hope not an exodus from my lives today, but a big rush <laughs> after this. Because you do yeah. know, you just need to put in your Liz Loves code at the end of your yeah. order, all in capitals or one word, and that gets you 15% off everything anyway. And then if you are yeah. quick, you will also get one of these. And I'd love to know what everybody is thinking about them once they get them to try because again, coming back to the a whole sustainability and reusability is uh, yeah. is good, and yeah, I am yeah, totally nice. coming your way. You know, as soon as we're allowed, mm. you just need to get that yeah. little fishing boat ready and and my harvesting yeah. hook because I'm going to be there with my gum boots and waders. Well, 
we'll get you we'll get you harvesting and then we'll get you in the lab making some shampoo and body bars and, oh my goodness and, yes because another thing before we go actually i've noticed this is handmade in scotland as well yes, so yeah, you know it hasn't come them, from yeah. china it hasn't no. been imported it's it's all made yeah. produced locally yeah everything everything is taken from the sea and there's a we have a we have a very unique low temperature extraction process that takes mm -hmm. all the antioxidants and all the wonderful good things for the seaweed into the product that's the extracts made in the lab and then the extracts are put into all the products it's all it's all made by right. hand in the hebrides there's 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 no process that's imported yeah. or used elsewhere so, oh. so it's, it's, one, it's wonderful it's wonderful i'm very lucky to be a part of it well um, i am uh, very thrilled that you are here and that you're allowing us all to be a part of it and Thank you very much for your generosity. That is really, you know, very unexpected and very much appreciated. And please very give much. my love to everybody up there um, and you. say, I Thank am you. coming. I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm on oh, my well, way. I... That just reminds me, oh, my goodness, you'll you know this film, Sunshine on Leaf. Yes, with the yes, proclaimers. What, what's that yeah. song? I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on my way, way I'm to on happiness. Way to happiness. happiness. <laughs> what, what, a wonderful, what a wonderful way to end. <laughs> Well, I, I am would, on I my would, way. It might take me a wee while, but I will get I there. Would, yeah, I wouldn't I would sing because my children say I can't even sing Happy Birthday in tune. So, so. Well, it was a real, real pleasure to have you to brighten the start Thank of our week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank for you. Being Thanks, with us. everybody. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you take so care. much, Leon. Thank you. All right, see you later, Liz. Yeah, Thank see you, you soon. Bye. I think you have to click goodbye, otherwise, I click everybody off, which would be a shame. Okay. <laughs> oh, wasn't that so much fun? Um, yeah, there's no minimum spend either. Cool. I wasn't expecting that. Isn't that generous? My goodness, what nice people they sound. It's just such a joy. I love my job when I can connect with just such lovely people and share such lovely things, you know, often with just such generosity. Really, really good. Really good. Well, actually, that is only half of today. Yes, we've got another half. So um, you may be thinking that I'm looking a tad washed out. I was thinking of me sat here actually in my, my lovely pale, um, this is a Borken sweater, uh, which I, I had ages ago actually. I don't know whether we've still got a discount with Borken. Let me just check. It might have, it might have expired because I did love their things. Oh no, 15% off. Yeah, Borken. So Martha, my lovely, you're doing Facebook today, aren't you? Can you pop a link up to Borken? Uh, so that is B-A-U-K-J-E-N, Balkan. Uh, and what I like about this, I wear this all the time, it's so soft. It's made of recycled cashmere. So, yeah, I love it. Really, really love it. And, of course, I've got my little Neroli uh, on here. So, yeah, so anyway, um, just saying that I do look a bit washed out. And there's a reason for that, my friends. It's not because I had a heavy weekend of partying. That would have been a nice thing. But, no, alas, it was a very quiet weekend at home. Um, the partying will hopefully happen soon, but it didn't happen this weekend because I am now going to be talking makeup with the amazing Kerry September. Drum roll, please. So I wanted to keep my face really fresh. Of course, not having realised that I'd be sat there for the first half hour of this little broadcast with no makeup on at all. Uh, but Kerry is in the house. This is going to be super exciting. Oh, thanks, Martha, my lovely. You've put the Balkan link up. We can't link, obviously, on Instagram, but I'll make sure that it's up on my website. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. I've just been to the Outer Hebrides. I know. I, I was just <laughs> listening because I love seaweed because I live by the sea and I use seaweed products and they're amazing. And I have um, all of Haeckel's, um products because he's literally collects seaweed. And oh, my goodness. He's got a shop here and a shop in Japan and a shop in um, in London now over lockdown. So, yeah. Really? Lo yeah. Very lovely things. I, do you know, I think there's just so much that we're learning about seaweed and all these natural ingredients. Yeah. It's... And and even um, I've sort of discovered more vegan, high lower acid products. Hyaluronic acid, yeah. 
Now the favourite, you look good, I have to say. You've so, got more makeup on than I have. That's not fair. Yeah, well, wait, what, have you turned Lux Star? I haven't turned Lux Star. No, I was waiting to share it with our friends here. Shall we, shall we say what we're going to talk about? So this is um, Tan Lux. This is something that you have introduced me to. And tell me about them. They are illuminating self-tan drops. They are Ooh. absolutely amazing. I think it's probably one of the best tanning products. You know how much I love a tan, Liz, yeah. for the, ever since you've known me. How do I love a tan? But this product is amazing. So it um, comes in two strengths. There's light medium, which is the ones that I've got here. And then I right. think there's a medium dark, isn't there? Are they the ones that you've got, maybe? I've got... Look, look how much I've got left of my She's face She's got a tan. tiny little bit left. <laughs> Now, we, we don't have a Liz Loves, uh, unfortunately, but we do have a link. So Martha will pop a link up um, to a website, which I think might actually give you um, a bit of a discount on the website. So I'll make sure that goes up on my Instagram as well. Oh, I tell you what, there's, so there's a big size. There's one for the body, so you can, like, self-tan your body, and one for the yeah. face. Well, why, why do you love this so much, and how do we use it? Um, so first of all, just do the whole normal thing of exfoliating your skin after a shower or during the shower and yeah. then moisturise. This one I love because it's got such a realistic colour. So right. you don't really get that kind of orange uh, tinge a couple of days later. It just yeah. looks really natural and it fades beautifully. Um, so yeah, I, I just put it on after I've had a shower or a bath and I use the I just um, rub a little bit in my hands, rub it on my face. But one thing is, you know, when you get telltale signs of face face tan on your knuckles and in between yeah, your Yeah, 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 face tan here. It's, it's part of my ritual. When I put my tan on, yeah. I wash my hands. Yeah. And then I'll literally put a dot on the back of my hands and then finish off with my hands yeah. so my hands are absolutely free of any products. So, um, and I like the dot. texture it doesn't feel sticky it just no. feel, it doesn't feel, you don't feel like it's there and, and it, it also doesn't, doesn't smell unpleasant it smells no. really fresh no. yeah. really fresh you can i've had a friend who's used this actually with melasma um and pigmentation oh. they got on with it really well um i think some of, some of the older ones can go a bit orange and a bit can kind of collect on yeah. pigment but this yeah. and it lasts for ages it does lasts it? For absolutely so ages. How, how often would you use this would you use this every day no, because what happens is you put it on in the morning and you'll see your tan develop naturally. I mean, it's like you go out mm. and you go in the sun for a couple of hours and you naturally turn brown. Everyone's like, oh, you look so well. <laughs> it's like... So nice. You know, now, like, people look... are asking if it comes off on a white towel. Well, no, look, no, I'm just going to... No, it doesn't come off on your doesn't bed sheet. It doesn't come off at all. It doesn't come off. Brilliant. Residue. How? It, it kind of sinks into the skin. It really sinks into your skin. Yeah. Into, yeah. And this is made in the UK. I was thinking it would be some sort of snazzy Australian or American brand, but no, it's a no, UK. No, a fantastic brand. I absolutely love it. I couldn't live without it. Actually. And they also do a body tan cream, yeah. which is insane. And actually, I'm not even going to show you my tube because it's um, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just like squeezing out the last bits. Oh, my but... goodness. Now, talking about squeezing out the last bits, I've also got some other things here that you... Um, have had sent to me to try Delilah, which is a brand that we love. Oh, Delilah, British. Yeah. I'm wearing their foundation. Are you? That's maybe why you yeah. look so well. Yes. Um, so this is their foundation. It's called Time Frame, and it comes in an SPF 20, which I think is yes. really handy as we begin to go outside. Yeah. Um, I've got various different shades here. I wonder which would be the right one for me. I've got Nutmeg, Chestnut, Shell, and Pebble. You will probably be the shell, and then when you're tanned, okay. you mix the shell and the pebble, and then when you're really tanned, you could use the pebble. Ooh, okay. So this one is shell. Oh, yeah, I can see that is, I'll put a bit more on the normal, but that is really, that is definitely my colour right now. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's just gone straight into my skin. That yeah. is invisible. You can't even Absolutely. see it. It's amazing. Perfect. A great, great shade. A great um, shade for me. It's quite universal, that shade, I would say. Yeah. If you're and the about nice it. thing about foundations, which is something that you've taught me over the years, my darling, is that you mix them together. 
So as you yeah. say, you know, you're going to be one colour now and then hopefully with a bit of sunshine or wanting to look a little bit more like you've got a sun-kissed glow, no matter what, you know, your starting point is, then you can just, you know, darken it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. One pump of each and you've got mid-season. Fantastic. And we do have a Liz Loves discount, by the way, um, on Delilah. And I know they do give you a money back guarantee even if you buy it with the discount here which is good let me just check on Delilah uh Delilah 20% off which Amazing. is really good 20% off their single products rather than their sets which are already discounted so that is yeah. shell and then you would say what pebble would be another one maybe I would probably just add a little smidgen of that towards um sort of summertime when you're quite tanned Ooh, and then yeah. when you're really tanned you Can you see own. that? So that's that's Pebble. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, they're really, really lovely textures and really easy to use as well, aren't they? Really nice. And the coverage is good. It's uh -huh. not it's not chalky or no. cakey, which if you've got kind of older, drier skin like me. How dark do they go? Do you know? Um, I think actually they might they've sent you the same as me because I asked for um a couple for black and brown skin, and I've got the chestnut and the nutmeg, I think it is. Okay, yeah, I've got these here. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I mean, these are way too dark for me. Yeah. But, yeah, you've got really... Yeah. Very nice. So they do a nice range of shades to yeah. see everyone. And they yeah, also do... Yeah, yeah. Um, have you tried these, Liz? I think you have these little blushes that Delilah do... And I love the so Delilah blushes, deeper. and I love the, um, what was I using of theirs the other day? I did this lovely live with Rupert, who we all absolutely loved. In fact, I must get him back. Um, I think it was their mascara, which was particularly good. Yeah. Stayed on really well, did not yeah. come off, and I'm a devil for my <laughs> mascara smudging usually. As you know, I'm quite fussy, aren't I, when it comes to mascara? You're quite fussy. Hey, I've got to tell you something. I think I've got your eyelash curlers. Oh, I was oh, wondering where they'd gone. <laughs> I, I should actually say that we were working together for the first time in forever, um, doing some cover shoots and various things like that last week. So there's going to be some little videos that Kerry and I have managed to film together um, during the course of our working day. So uh, thank you very much. And I am looking for those hair clips. I haven't Do you yet... know what I found them? You found, found them. I've just been turning my bedroom upside down looking for them, thinking, oh, oh no, so how do I break the news to Kerry that I can't find her hair clips? I thought you'd be wearing them on the line. <laughs> you thought I'd steal your hair clips. Yeah, they're quite pretty. No, uh, I, I, well, okay, I'll tell you what I need to wear, actually, if we're going to be doing a bit more makeup. And that's, have you seen these uh, headbands from Annie Sone? Yeah, I think when we did your shoot um, with the, was it Hello Magazine? The yes. lovely stylist, Arabella Boyce, had a whole selection and they were amazing. We were all kind Just of... Just love them. And yeah. we have we have a Liz Loves ten percent discount on all Annie's accessories as well, belts and headbands. But I just find popping a headband on for for makeup actually is really a useful okay. thing. Now you've arranged yeah. very kindly to have some um, samples of things that I've never tried before. This is really exciting. These are from Glossier. They look like yes. little um, artists' colours. They do little paints. Little pa little paints. So what am I going to do with these? Um, so basically, if I would say if you, for day wear, this one called Puff is generally a really good all-rounder. Isn't that cute? Um, it's Cloud so sweet. paint. Yeah. So you just literally pop the tiniest bit on the okay. back of your hand. I mean, I'm talking like less is more. You can always add a little bit more. Uh-huh. Just like that. That's yeah. a pretty colour. And then take your ring finger and then just dot on the highest part of your cheek the sort of apple of your cheek just a little bit oh my goodness that's so sheer it's so sheer and it looks Can so healthy and it's just a little <laughs> bit of glow when you're on the go yeah so and if you want to sort of make a little bit more make it stronger then you can just add more on top it's really buildable great could you use this yeah. on your lips or would it be a bit dry 
think it's a little bit, uh, this product is a little bit too creamy for lips, but okay. we, we do have one for lips, which I'm in love with this product. What's that? Uh, an Atelier by Gucci Westman. Oh, um, now this is, honestly, this packaging yeah, is really cute. Lovely. So this Westman Atelier, I don't know these guys. Look at that. These are just incredible. I mean, honestly, it's like, I'm in love with this product. So I'm going to put one on the other cheek. We'll, um, we'll pop all the details on Instagram, don't worry, yeah. in, in, in a link. So again, you can literally just use it straight from the stick. I tend to use my hands because of my job. But yeah, I mean, you can just whack it right on your face. But love yeah, that. That's a makeup artist technical term, is it? Whack it right on your face. <laughs> My turn, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just making sure that I know the technical jargon when I'm talking no, to... Because a lot of people, you know, sometimes are not sure how to put makeup on and I'm just like, just try it. Just whack just it on, just it. put it on, only makeup. That's such a lovely colour. This is called Petal. Could I use this on my lips then as well? You absolutely can. Okay. I mean, look, one product in your handbag when yeah, you're going do, out. Yeah. So easy to use. Mm. Really like that. I love really. it. I love it so much. And the other thing, we, we actually we had a, a laugh when we were working together because one of the things that we are both addicted to when it comes to the cheeks um, is the Studio 10, the Plumping Blush Glow yes. Collection. So Plumping I've got this in my makeup bag and Kerry pulled it out I, of her. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. should we whack some of this on as well to use your technical yeah. expertise? <laughs> Why not? Why not? So, that's what it looks like plumping blush. And it just seems to work for everybody. It just gives you that kind of healthy glow. You can use it right up here. You can use it all over. I mean, to be honest, at the weekend, when I'm not, um, you know, wearing any face makeup, I would just use a bit of mascara and this. And that's it. Boom. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And we do have a discount, by the way. If you want the Studio 10, everything at Studio 10, um, we have a Liz Loves. And I did a lovely live um, with the Studio 10 founder. I'm hoping to do more, actually, because I think they're such a great range, specifically designed for older skin. And, yes, yeah. we've got 20%, 20% off all their full price products um, using Liz Loves. And that are studio10beauty.com. But isn't it interesting that you, you love this as much as me, which is quite good? Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's a staple. Absolute staple. And do you find I mean, it works for most of your clients that you're working with? And pop some I more think on, it's just go to. Yeah, it does work with most people. Um, and it's great for mature skins because it's not too powdery. It doesn't no. sit in the ears. And it's just, doesn't it's dry. youthful. Yeah. 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 Youthful. That's what we love. And then the other uh, really good concealer that you introduced me to um, is the Bye Bye Under Eye, the It Cosmetics. Yeah, love those. And It they Cosmetics. Oh, honestly, I've had this one for such a long time. I think we might be able to just pop a link up to it. Um, but it is really good at, you know, if you've got any really dark shadows or spots or pimples that need... Oh. A lot yeah. of concealing, you know, yeah. and I just use a little tiny bit sometimes just kind of there and there. Yeah, I mean, I've got a little um, sunspot right here above my eyebrow, and yep. I use um, this. I mix the tan and the medium. It's quite a simple, pro it's like light, tan, dark. Yeah, I've got a little really mark simple. up here, actually. You can mix in between um, according to, you know, how you need the coverage, but... That's the thing. I think, you know, you, you've taught me this, you know, over the years, is that it's better to buy a couple of shades if you can yeah. so you can mix them. And although, okay, so you're spending, you know, twice as much at the beginning, but then they last twice as long. So, you, you know, yeah. you're actually, it kind of works out in the long run. And it means you've got that fantastic adaptability. You know that you're going to yeah. get the right shade for you, no matter what happens during the year or whether you want to up your look a bit or rev it up or look a bit more sun-kissed or, you know, tone it down in the winter when we've all been indoors for months. 
I think what people do is that when you sort of get confused, like you use a foundation in the winter and then it, we sort of um, transition into spring, summer and you're like, oh, my foundation's not working anymore. So you think, oh, I need to buy another one. And it's so confusing. And then you go and buy like three bottles that don't actually, yeah. you know, blend in like yours did earlier. Yeah. So if you do and you get used to mixing and playing around. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you just need two bottles. I have to say, I think everybody um, is going to really love the Delilah time frame foundations. I'm really, really impressed with that. I love the way that they're sitting on my skin. It's not drying it. My skin still looks glowy. It's given me good coverage. And you find that they last. I mean, if you're doing a makeup shoot, you need something that's going to last under the lights for hours and hours. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, if I'm doing a nice beauty glowy look, then they're perfect. Mm. And they're perfect in real life as well. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm so glad that we were able to actually connect. Let's plan yeah. another one of these because I'd love to chat Absolutely. to you again. And tell me, I saw on Lily's stories yesterday that she's, because she's been up in London for some medical appointments, um, yeah. that she was swimming in the serpentines. They've obviously reopened it. Was she? So she said it was three degrees. And are you swimming in the sea down in Margate? Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's a minute for every degree. So Lily, if she went in, how long did she go in? Did I don't know. In? I haven't spoken to her yet. I'll need to check. Yeah, I mean, I'm a bit of a tea bag. I'm not kind of... You know, <laughs> what does that mean? In the channel. But I, I like to get in and feel the benefits and get out. Okay, so you're kind of a dunk it in, dunk it out person. Yeah, yeah. And so what's yeah. the temperature now of the sea? If, if the serpentine is three degrees, what would the sea be where you are, do you think? I don't know. It's probably a little bit colder because of the wind. But yeah. I'd have to check my Tide app. I've got an Ooh, app. Oh, have book. you? Get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fun and games yeah oh, well I'd love to come down and swim in the sea with you wouldn't that be fun yeah we've got a tidal pool which is amazing so come on down for a dip so how does that work then a tidal pool so basically if the, si- the tide is out you can still go swimming because uh, there's water in the actual tidal pool oh it's it same like- it swimming pool but it's called a tidal pool so it goes in and out with the tide wow so it stays completely clean and fresh and everything because it's so it doesn't yeah. need to be chlorinated or anything because that's what i like about yeah. wild swimming is that fact, it's... I, was, I, was there, I was there not long ago and there was a seal in the tidal pool no <laughs> and I was like, yeah I was like, i'm not sure if i want to go in but um, <laughs> over the edge and then I went for a swim but I mean it's it's lovely yeah. so lovely and you swim without a wetsuit presumably I don't swim with with, with a wetsuit because I like to feel the elements of the earth yeah me too um, you know you're buzzing when you come out but um yeah yeah that yeah all right let, let's do it we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a wild sea swim and a makeup session in Margate okay and we'll, we'll okay. pop it on our stories one day one day okay. soon, I hope. Righty. Lovely to see you, my darling. Thank you for being with us. And I have to say a big, big thank you for doing all my covers. Do you know you've done every single oh, one? Yes, yes. I can't wait to see the new one. The new one is literally, I have got a proof sitting on my desk downstairs. And, and we're not, um, allowed I'm not allowed to see it just yet, no, because it hasn't been signed off, but it will be signed off soon. It's beautiful. It's that lovely shot that we did outside in the roses. It's all kind of pinky. We've done and... so many, I can't remember. You can't remember. There were so many. <laughs> it was a while ago. It was when the roses okay. were out last time. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to be joined by a whole load of buses, by the way, heading down to Margate for a wild swim, looking at my comments. I know, I think so too. It's getting busier. It's definitely busier today. Oh, well, enjoy, my darling. Have a really great day and a great week. See you later. Lovely to chat. Uh Bye, honey. Bye. (laughs) Oh, isn't that all so lovely? I'm sorry that you can't see her, obviously, on Facebook or YouTube. Um, Well, it depends which version we, we pop up on YouTube. But um, I think they are working on it, actually. I think we are working on ways with Facebook that we can actually do a a split screen so that you can see it. And I think also we might start doing some special films for Facebook. But, you know, there's always just so much to do and not enough time in the day. But I am doing lots more filming for YouTube specifically. 
So I do hope that you have signed up to the YouTube channel because it's Liz Our Wellbeing and it is where it's all happening in terms of films. So I've got some that I was working with Kerry recently. We wanted to do some proper makeup tutorials as well as we were doing lots of cover shoots and all sorts of other things. Um, so we were working together with that. So we were able to get a bit of filming. So you will be able to see those. I'll let you know as soon as those goes, go live. And then I've got a really good YouTube film uh, interview this, this week going live with Dr. Louise Newson. And it's really fascinating. You really will want to watch that one. So all you have to do is go to Liz Art Wellbeing YouTube channel and you'll just see there's so much there. I was being asked actually on my comments where to find all the menopause and weight loss videos just go there that's where they all are and you know you can see the exercise videos that I've recorded with Michael Gary who works with us here at Lazar Wellbeing you know I've filmed myself in lockdown you know doing all my exercises you don't need any equipment or anything I was just doing them in my bedroom but he was talking me through it so I was just kind of showing what I do using my own body weight to, to tone up and shape up and so I hope all that is really helpful but YouTube can be a bit of a a minefield it's so huge isn't it and there's so much out there so it's really worth subscribing you, you know it doesn't I don't think it doesn't spam you or anything it just means that every time we you go on to it you're more likely to see things from Lazar Wellbeing and not any kind of random stuff and there is even a little bell behind the subscribe button beside it and I know that lots of you have clicked the notification bell and that means that whenever we load anything or if I decide that I'm going to just pop something up on YouTube quickly you get a little Ding! and it just alerts you that there's something new on YouTube. So it is it is worth it. I think it's it's a good platform. It seems to work well on TVs, phones, tablets, you know, anything. So there you go. So we will see uh, which version here we can pop onto YouTube, and we will be doing more specifically for YouTube. Thank you very much, Jane. You're enjoying the podcasts. Yeah, so we've got some new podcasts that went up. So Friday... I was talking to Louise Newson about weight loss and HRT in particular, because there's a lot of myths and misinformation. So we're trying to smash some of that. And also with Michael Gary, actually, he was talking about the best exercises for weight loss. So specifically, I think, you know, post Easter, all those Easter eggs and hot cross buns and all of that, you know, and we're thinking, hmm, might be going out soon. Might need to start squeezing myself back into some proper clothes and not just living in joggy bottoms with elasticated waistbands. So, uh, so yeah, if you want some ideas on how to tone up and shape up. And I'm hoping, actually, to get Zana Morris back on soon because I love Zana. And she's just got so many good ideas of simple ways that really work when it comes to, um, to shaping up. Oh, thank you. You love Fridays, did you, Nikki? Yeah, it was a good one, wasn't it? It was, it was nice. And also, I should say, the podcast that went live uh, last week, my main Liz Our Wellbeing show podcast, which comes out on a Wednesday, uh, that was with Sam Rice. And she's written a book called The Midlife Method. And that's all about midlife weight loss. And that was really good. I actually listened to that over the weekend, re-listened to it, because obviously I recorded it with her a while ago. In fact, that was, I think I recorded it quite late at night because she's in Singapore, so we had to kind of work our time differences. But I re-listened to it, and she had some really good ideas, actually, uh, especially for snacks, some of which I made over the weekend, which I will be popping onto my Instagram stories a little bit later so I can share them with you. Um, just to say, I did have to change my Instagram this morning because I was supposed to be on this morning, this morning, uh, and then I heard, literally after I'd posted my Instagram, saying, oh, tune in to watch this morning, um, that the powers that be there have actually changed the schedule and it's now going to run tomorrow, okay? So that's the thing, when you work for a, you know, a live topical current affairs show other things come in and schedules get changed and all of that but anyway as far as I'm aware my little episode of my at home with Lizelle series will be going live tomorrow but I will put news on my Instagram because that's the kind of the easiest way that I can post it amino slim yeah I think uh, Zana does still have amino slim in stock so that's strongnutrients.com if you want to go there and she has given us, I think, 15% off. Let me just double check. Strong nutrients. Yeah, 15% off if you use Liz Loves. So you can get the Amino Slim, you can get the creatine, you can get the protein 
powder, all of that. And she's also really good. What I love about Zana is she's a very genuine person and she does reply to all her comments on her Instagram. So it's a very good way if you want to get some real advice from her and she is the one who knows about these things because obviously they're her products. Um, then that is uh, that is a good place to go. Um, just a few questions and comments here before I love you and leave you. Yes, so the discounts that we have, Delilah Time Frame. This was this great foundation. Super love it, have to say. Very impressed with the coverage and the finish. That is definitely going to be finding a place in my makeup bag. The one that is the perfect colour for me right now is Shell. But I think Kerry also suggested getting Pebble. I'll just show you those in case you missed it. In case you were late to class. So that is Shell. It's going on my, um, on my hand here. Um, and so there we go. Can you see that? Shell, you almost can't see it actually because it's just the perfect colour for me. And then Kerry suggested getting the Pebble. And then as we get into uh, the summer months and it gets a little bit warmer... I could mix this in, or if you are a slightly darker skin tone, then you could go for the pebble maybe. But yeah, I could imagine mixing those two together would work really well. Excellent coverage, really very, very good. And then some of the darker shades as well that she mentioned, nutmeg, chestnut, for example. Um, those are depending on your skin tone. So, uh Thank you very much from Midge. We always get such good advice when Zana talks to you and more information than you would get on any packaging. So, yeah, I agree. I'm totally going to be contacting her and seeing, um, seeing what we can do. Actually, something else I just wanted to remind you of, because I've got it sat here on my dressing table in front of me, is the True Grace Neroli Hand Cream. How much do I love this? Well, you can see by how much I've been using it. I've been eking it out, actually, because it's such a special smell. I don't know if you have tried this yet. If you're using hand cream, by the way, after you've been using all your hand sanitizers, pop it on the back of your hand first and then rub, rub your hands together that way, because obviously that's where you need it. You don't need it in the palms. Um, you need it on the backs where your sebaceous glands are fewer. But the smell... Oh, is good. Oh, Duxter Deb says, thank you for the Beauty Pie intro. Excellent. I'm glad you got that. Yeah, we do have a deal with Beauty Pie. Great brand if you want to check that out. That's very unusual in that you join and you pay five or ten pounds a month and then it gives you access to all their products at cost price. I mean, it's amazing. I've got so much. If I, if I open these drawers behind me here... You will just find them full of Beauty Pie products. I use their retinols. Um, I've got some of their beautiful candles. I mean, just lovely. So if you use Liz Loves, you get a free month. Take out a three-month subscription, you get a free month with Beauty Pie. Highly recommend that. All of these things, by the way, there's just so much to talk about. We've got a whole section on LizOurWellbeing.com. It's just called Liz Loves. So go there, click on that, and then if you scroll down, you'll see all these amazing brands often British, often female founders, often smaller independent brands offering great things that I do genuinely love. Okay, You, you can't buy your way into this, I'm afraid. It is genuinely a, a recommendation from me. I say, yeah, actually, I've tried this and I want to support you guys and I really love it. Um, and we get great discounts. So I'm really pleased that, that we can do all of this, actually. Uh, we can't do it with everybody, obviously. But, um, you know, particularly some of the larger brands, but with some of the smaller brands who are the guys that we want to support anyway, um, you know, that is really important. Victoria on Facebook says, loved your sunny apron in Friday's Live. Where is it from? Oh, that lovely yellow apron. Alas, I bought that in a little shop in Avignon in France about ooh, four years ago, maybe I was staying with some friends. Um, so that is where that came from. But having said that, I have discovered an amazing new British apron brand. You know how I love a good apron. And anyway, it hasn't launched yet, but watch this space because you are going to absolutely love it. And I hope that we can do a discount there as well. But it's, it's a great woman, um, former chef. In fact, I think she might still be a chef, but she's doing this as well. And it, honestly, I saw these aprons and I took one look at them and thought, yes. We have to have those, so I'm very excited about that. Um, Becky says, is ground turmeric as good as turmeric root? 
I think it um, it really depends, to be honest. I think there's nothing like freshly pressed or freshly squeezed powder. If you buy a good quality powder, I mean, and sometimes you can actually get enhanced more concentration from the powder because, you, it, you know, you get more in your teaspoon perhaps than you would from a whole little length of root. So I think they are both good if you buy good quality. I like the juice. I just find that it is fresh and it has a zing to it. Um, another question here from Gail. Oh, by the way, that was because I put my recipe up live on making the turmeric drink. Super easy, really good. I, I did it on this morning last week and lots of you have asked for the recipe, so it's on my Instagram. Uh, it's also on YouTube. I filmed the whole thing as well if you want it on YouTube. Um, this is from Gail on Facebook who says, can you paint teak furniture with Annie Sloan chalk paint? Well, I think that is probably a technical question for Annie Sloan, but she did say very clearly that you can paint on all kinds of wood. I remember her specifically saying that. So yeah, I would say, you know, she seemed to say that you could paint anything. Tiles, ceramics, plastic, glass, terracotta. I mean, you name it, it seemed metal, you know, it seemed you can paint it. So I wouldn't say that there was any reason why not, because um, she just said wood, but obviously do check. I think they're very good. They're customer care people at Annie Sloan. And we do have a discount, 15% off everything at Annie Sloan. I've got to finish my jug. That was my project, my project for the week. I was going to do it this weekend, but things got a bit kind of, a bit full on with all the kids home at the moment. But um, yeah, I am definitely going to be doing that. A um, couple of last little questions. Oh, this was from Jane on YouTube. So I've just painted an Ikea stool with Annie Sloan paint in Arboson Blue and stenciled the top in a shade lighter. I love it. How great. So nice for the inspiration. Um, this is from Mary on YouTube. Thank you so much for all the tips and tricks, Liz. You've really kick-started my journey to healthy gut living. Excellent. So easy. Bit of kefir, some probiotic goodness. Make some sauerkraut. I've got a recipe on YouTube for my kimchi. That's so easy to make and so good. It lasts for ages, a little spoonful every day. Um, and yeah, Grace, thank you very much. Nice, kind comment that you left for me on Friday. Thank you, thank you. So my goodness, I can't believe I've been here for just over an hour. I better go, let you all go. If you're watching me in real time, you're probably starving now, wanting some lunch, or maybe you're having a quick lunch while you're watching. Anyway, thank you for being with me. Thank you very much to Leon from Ishka. Absolutely love your things. It was so nice to be joined by you from the west coast of Scotland. Don't forget, you have until midnight Tuesday, if tomorrow night, if you're watching this in real time, to get your free shampoo and body bar with any order, no minimum size, and you get your 15% Liz Loves discount. I mean, what is not to love about that, seriously? Um, and all the other discounts that I talked about, so thank you. Thank you very much to Kerry, if you're still watching, darling, thank you. Love all your recommendations here. Absolutely gonna be trying all of these out, and I hope that you will come back. Um, maybe we can do an eye and lip focus next time or something fun. Or maybe I'll see you in Margate first. Who knows? Anyway, have a great rest of the day and I will see you again here live on Wednesday. Maybe on my screens on uh, this morning, tomorrow morning. Let's see what happens, but I'll keep you posted in the meantime. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your kind comments. Thank you. Thank you for hearts. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Bye.